So you're deep in the backcountry on a canoe trip and a very important, perhaps even critical piece of gear breaks on you. What are you going to do? Well, hopefully you brought along a repair kit. Today we're going to look inside my repair kit and talk about what I bring and why. Let's, uh, let's open this thing up and sort it out. These are the tools and other items that I bring with me in my backcountry canoe trip repair kit. Uh, these are things that I've used in the past or things that I wished I had in the past or just things that give me a little bit of comfort to know that I can fix something uh, if it gets broken. And everything here fits inside this waterproof plastic container. Uh, it takes a bit of time to pack because it's very snug when I get everything in here, but it does all fit in here. And what I usually do with this is I'll pack it right in the very bottom of my canoe barrel. Uh, it's not something I need very often, but when I do, I'm willing to spend the time to dig it out. So I frequently make updates to this kit, in fact, almost every year. And this year I made a pretty significant update. And that was adding this. This is flex tape. This is a waterproof tape. For many, many years, I carried two-part epoxy with me, thinking that if I ever get a hole in my canoe, I'll be able to repair it with that epoxy. But epoxy is messy, it's stinky, it's a challenge to work with, and I don't know if uh, two-part epoxy lasts forever. I've had that for many, many years. So this is uh, the upgrade. This is Flex Tape. There's a number of brands in the market uh, of similar tape to this. This is a rubberized tape, very, very sticky, and it works when wet, it works underwater. So if I get a hole in my canoe, this is the go-to item. And uh, that's why I had to upgrade my container this year. It's a little bit wider to hold this tape. Sticking with the theme of tape, I also bring some duct tape. This is a roll of Gorilla brand duct tape. Very good stuff. Also works well when wet. Um, that's a new roll this year. And uh, that's very, very handy stuff. The other roll of tape I have is tenacious tape. If you're not familiar with this, this is excellent tape for repairing holes in tents, either the fly or the floor or anything like that. And it works very well with seam grip. This is a, an adhesive that I have. Um, often you'll uh, repair one side of your tent with the tenacious tape and then use seam grip on the other side to, to fix the hole. This can also fix any leaks that you have. If you have a, a minor leak somewhere, you can use this. The other adhesive that I bring are a couple of tubes of Gorilla brand minis. They've got this little applicator that screws on. This is essentially the same thing as crazy glue. It will bond to almost anything. So kind of handy. Uh, I won't use a lot of adhesive, but uh, you never know when a small thing will break and this might be the thing that you need to fix it. Another extremely handy fastener is wire. You can uh, bind almost anything together with this. Uh, this is snare wire. I bring either snare wire or craft wire with me. Um, very, very handy. Over here, I've got some zip ties. I don't bring too many. Um, they're, they're pretty handy. I don't use them very often, but I've got five zip ties here taped together with a little bit of electric tape so they don't get messy in the container. Small brush if I need to apply the glue. As well, I've got a couple of tent splices. These are two different sizes for the two sizes of tents that I have. So these are all tapes and adhesives and things that bind things together. And over here, I've got my tools. Uh, let's talk about those next. It's important to remember though, that I bring other things with me for tools, notably my Swiss Army knife and a headlamp so that I can repair things in the dark if I have to. My Swiss Army knife has a couple of uh, knives on it. It's got a corkscrew, it's got a can opener, it's got a flat screwdriver and an owl, which uh, sometimes I use. In terms of what's in my kit, I bring these for sure. These are EMT shears. These are extremely cheap. They're six or seven bucks and they will cut through almost anything. So if you need to cut some fabric or some webbing or something, that's your go-to. I also have this one wrench. There's no need to bring a bunch of wrenches. Take a look at your gear and bring the number of wrenches that fit the number of uh, nuts that you have. So. Uh, when I go on a canoe trip, the only things that need to be adjusted are my canoe thwarts and uh, and all three brands of canoes that I have, those thwarts are attached with 3 8 inch 
wrench. Uh, the metric wrenches won't fit. I, I think 3 8 is between 9 and 10 millimeters or something like that. Both the 9 and 10 millimeter won't work, so, so make sure you have the right wrench. Um, I may upgrade this in the future. I may get a ratchet wrench. Uh, they're a little bit expensive, but uh, I think that would um, reduce a lot of finickiness if I ever do have to repair a thwart on my canoe. Also, a very small Phillips head screwdriver. I don't have a Phillips head on my uh, Swiss Army knife, so a Phillips head is also going to help fix that canoe thwart if it'll hold the screw in place while I adjust the nut. And another extremely important tool that I bring with me is this a small Leatherman. And probably the most important tool that it has that's not on my Swiss Army knife are these needle nose pliers. It's very likely I have needle nose pliers with me because I usually bring them in my fishing kit but uh, they might not be in my kit and I might not fish on a trips. So every once in a while I don't bring my fishing gear so uh, this is very very good to have if I need to adjust something or uh, if I need to tighten wire or something like that. This is, this is extremely handy. And these have uh, a knife and some scissors another can opener uh, and uh, a bunch of screwdriver heads including another Phillips head so it provides a little bit of redundancy as well. And I always bring a spare lighter in my repair kit. You never know when uh, you're going to need a lighter. I bring many lighters with me. Uh, I bring one or two in my pockets all the time and I keep one in almost every bag that I have um, but it's, it's always good to have a spare one in your repair kit. Now let's talk about these mini kits that I have. These are three different kits that all repair different things. This one right here is for my Thermarest and I always make sure I have the right kit for the right Thermarest. If I bring a different sleeping pad I'll bring a different kit. Uh, this will repair holes in my Thermarest. It's got some alcohol swabs, some glue and some patches. Very very handy. And this right here is my sewing kit. I've got some uh, interesting stuff in here. I've got some normal thread I've got some normal needles and uh, some pins and I've got some patches. This is uh, ripstop nylon, a few different colors. Uh, Kuglins makes a kit with this, this stuff and some screen if I ever get a, a tear in the screen of my tent. But I've also got some heavy duty needles. A few years ago I found this little kit and uh, it's full of big thick heavy needles and it's even got these curved needles. These are upholstery needles. They're curved and I figure that if I ever get uh, a tear in an awkward part of um, my canoe pack which is made of cordura material or, or something like that um, I'll be able to use these and with with the heavy-duty needles I have heavy-duty thread I certainly have normal thread if I need to fix a shirt or something but uh, something more serious I've got these two spools of thread this is called heavy-duty thread uh, and this is called button and carpet thread uh, if I need to sew something or if I need to lash something in a, in a small spot, I'm going to use one of these. The uh, button and carpet thread I think is even heavier duty than the heavy duty thread. And this is my stove repair kit. This kit has everything I need to fix my Primus stove, but I've got a few parts in here for Coleman stoves as well. I've got wrenches, I've got um, seals, I've got leather patches for the pump, I've got cleaning tools, I've got fresh nozzles. Uh, I even have a spare cap that fits most Coleman uh, stoves or lanterns. If somebody ever loses their, uh, their lantern cap or their stove cap, uh, I've got their back. This doesn't fit in the kit, but these are the uh, felt priming patches that go with the stove. Um, I usually put a new one in my stove every year, but it's, uh, you, you never know. It's good to have a couple with you. They're very, very light, so I don't mind carrying them. And I also have some silicon grease that is made for the stove and particularly the primer. Uh, it, there should be a grease seal around that uh, leather patch and, and that's what this is for. What else have I got here? I've got a number of things uh, that are kind of handy to, to fix or replace items on a pack. I've got a little bit of webbing. Don't need that very often but if you ever lose a piece of webbing or if some webbing on your pack breaks I've got a, a meter or so here to replace that. I've also got tri-glides and ladder locks that fit that webbing. Uh, these could come loose on your, on your pack and you might want to replace those. Likewise, I've got some barrel locks that go on cords. Um, the, these you, you can lose pretty easily, so they're nice to have. I have a small buckle that uh, matches the webbing and I have a large buckle. Uh, I've never had to use this, uh, but it's pretty light so I don't mind bringing it 
if you ever break the buckle on your uh, canoe pack, you will be happy that you brought a spare. We're almost done a couple items that I have here. This is a plastic grommet. I had a kit full of these once and I decided to throw one in here. It's uh, just a grommet that uh, comes in two pieces. It's got a little bit of a seal here and you put it together on either side of a, a piece of material from a tarp or something. You hit it with the back of your axe or a rock and it'll snap together and you got a new tie point. I could certainly throw a, a pebble in there and, and lash it and, and use that as a tie point. But uh, I had this so I just tossed it in here. It's very light. And lastly, I've got a couple of wing nuts. These wing nuts fit my canoe. Uh, so if I ever lose a nut on the canoe or I've got uh, a couple of uh, yoke pads that uh, use these wig nuts and if I ever lose those I've got a couple of spares just in case. So that is my canoe trip repair kit. Uh, I think it's the right mix of items for me. Any repair kit you're going to have to balance utility with weight and uh, you're also going to have to think about the types of trip you go on and the length of trip. So I, I'll do some three or four day trips each year and I'll do some trips that approach two weeks or, or two week trips and I'm often alone. So I want to have all my bases covered but I don't want to bring too much weight and that's that's the trick. Uh, I would never bring this backpacking. In fact my backpacking uh, repair kit consists of wire, a little bit of tape and a, a much smaller roll of duct tape. That's it. Um, but canoe tripping you've got more gear and more things can go wrong. So you want to bring a little bit more stuff. Hopefully um, what I've shared here gives you some ideas. Maybe you think some of this is too much. Uh, maybe you think it's not enough. Let me know in the comments. All right, thanks a lot. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. As always, I'll see you in the next one.